हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जर्मन क्लास तो टुडेज टॉपिक वी आर डिस्कसिंग इज का स्वाय इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड कॉनेक्टिक स्वाय वुंस जार्ट्स ए रियल जार्ट्स सो ये सब इसी के नाम है दीज आर ऑल सिनोनिम्स बिकॉज दीज आर नॉट रियल सेंटेंसेस दीज आर ऑल समथिंग दैट यू इमेजिन दैट यू विश फॉर सो लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल इन प्रेजेंट टेंस सो टूडे वी आर डूइंग दीज का स्वाय इन प्रेजेंट टेंस ओनली something which is unreal as i said something you wish for okay so it's not real it's irreal unreal or irreal zets we say in german like you express your wish something you wish for something you want that you don't have but you wish to have so for that cases we use ka swai conjunctive swai like there are forms different forms like sein if the verb is sein so you will use wäre If verb is haben, you will use hätten and würden plus infinitive. All other verbs comes under in this category. Würden plus infinitive means if you are not using sein verb, haben verb, then you will use würden plus infinitive at the last place. And another case is modal verb. With modal verb also you can say kaswai. You can express your wish with the help of modal verbs. So let's take few examples. Then I will tell you more about this. This is the table like. Zain. So, what are the verbs in kaswai? Ish, vere, do, waist. R Z S, vere. Basically, first and third person is used, and haben similarly, hätte, and würden. So, it is würde. This is the form of werden. So, it the originated from werden. It becomes würde. So, haben is the basic, and kaswai hätte. Similarly, zain is the basic verb. So, when you make kaswai, it becomes vere. Ish, vere. Ish hätte or ish würde. With würde, you will write infinitive at the last place also. So these are the forms. Doch und gern. Use of doch und gern. So it means in between when you make kaswai sentence, you can write in between anywhere these two words, either doch or gern. Just it's just a formation of the sentence. Okay, just make the sentence more strong. Your wish makes. Will be more strong. So just to make your wish stronger, we use these two words. Suppose if I were in Berlin, means you are not in Berlin, but you wish that if you were in Berlin. So how do you say when is Doc in Berlin? Where? See, we have started this sentence with the help of when as a connector. So verb place is last, but it's okay. If I were in Berlin, so if I were in Berlin, when is Doc in Berlin? Where? So verb place is last, and you can see we have used Doc in between. so you can use this word doch or gern so this is the structure see if i were when is doch in berlin where and the sentence in german now ich habe nicht viel geld i don't have much money i don't have money lot of i don't have lot of money so what's your wish if you would have lot of money so in german ich hätte doch viel geld here hätte because the verb in the normal form is habe so habe will be changed into hätte okay therefore we have said ich hätte doch viel geld if i would have lot of money this is my wish another sentence ich habe nicht viel geld similarly ich hätte doch viel geld same sentence in the highlighted part ich kann auto nicht fahren so reality is i cannot drive car this is the reality and what's my wish can't ich doch auto fahren So modal verb can we have changed into kaswai form kionter. So you can start with the verb also, no problem. Kionter is talk out of faran. If I could drive car, so this would be my wish. So this is called kaswai. Similarly, uh, ish would a talk Spanish learn. This is my wish. If I would learn Spanish, okay, this is my wish. But what's the reality? Is expression is Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. Okay, this is the reality. So, kaswai form is would a doc Spanish expression. If I would speak Spanish, but in reality I don't speak. Next sentence, my friend is heute krank. So the verb is is. My friend is today sick. Today my friend is sick. So the verb is is. So we use were. So what's my wish? when my friend heute gesund wäre if my friend would be healthy today this is my wish although he is not healthy today he is sick 
but my wish that if he would be healthy so when my point how it is given where so here we have used where because in the normal sentence the verb is ist or sein form so this is very very important to identify the verbs and write accordingly in kasai form ich hätte gern ein auto this is my wish ich hätte means i would like to have a car i would like to have a car i wish to have a car but the reality is ich habe kein auto i have no car i don't have car this is the reality but in kasai it will be ich hätte gern if i would have a car so these are the kasai sentences i hope you understand the sentences how to frame and how to conjugate the verbs accordingly with the person so next sentence ich bin nicht reich reich means rich i am not rich so my wish if i were rich where is doch reich where is doch reich if i were rich this is my wish i hope you understand the topic kasai i hope you have some basic idea how to make sentences with kasai when do we use in which situations we use kasai and it is also known as wunsch zarts irreal zarts because these are not real irreal sentences